morning. Welcome back to another video. Okay, it's too early for all of that. I get it. But um, if you're not already subscribed to this family, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. We'll love to have you here. Thank you for all my returning viewers, my day ones. I love you guys. Um, so I have a word from the Lord for us today. And it's going to be in Joshua. I need you guys to follow me. I'm going to take you to church this morning. Okay. Happy hump day. So we have Joshua 3 going to jump over into 4. It says, now the Jordan is a flood, is, is at flood stage all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's wedges, the water from the upstream stopped flowing. Follow me. We're going to jump over to 4. Chapter 4, and now we're at verse 11. Follow me, follow me. We're now we're in 4.11. Follow me. As soon as they all had crossed, the ark of the Lord and the priest came to the other side while the people watched. So the people watched the priest come out. So the waters are parted. The ark of the covenant is goes before, and the people cross over, and they're watching the priest and the ark of the covenant come out. Follow me. We're almost finished. That day, the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all of Israel, and they stood in awe of him all the days of his life, just like they did Moses. I don't know what the waters are. I don't know what the delays are. I don't know what the floods are in your life. I don't know what that impossible situation looks like, but I know on the other side is the promises that the Lord has given you and Satan is revving his head up and he's sending out his minions. He's sending out his dreams. He's sending out doubt because doubt is the opposite of faith. And we've been talking about faith here a lot on this channel. Doubt is trying to rev its head up and make you believe right before you cross over into your promised land, right before you get that wedding ring, before that man come on, before them children turn around, before you get healed, right before it looks like an impossible situation and your enemies do not think because they were going to the other side to war in that promised land to get their what would belong to them. Their enemies had no clue. That their God can part waters for them. I'm preaching this morning. Your God can part waters for you and he will make a clear path. God says, I'm going to make a clear path. And why were they in awe of Joshua? Because they, they saw that God was with them because they saw the presence of the uh, Lord go before them. And the presence of the Lord can be behind them all at the same time. That God was with them while they walked through that impossible situation and they're going to be in awe of you. And that man ain't going to be able to deny you. The world ain't going to be able to deny you. No one's going to be able to deny you. Why? Because they're going to see the presence of the Lord on you and want every bit of you. You're going to be a superstar, Joshua, because they're going to want you so bad. You're going to stand out from all the other women, Ruth. They're going to want you so bad when they see that God had to be with you. In that impossible situation, how you still stand and still believe and still holding on in spite of the delays, Lord God, I'm preaching, despite of the delays and the, the seas that go before you, God going to part the waters and create a clear path for you to walk right through your enemy's camp and right on today's ground and take exactly what God said that he was going to give you. And that's your promised land promise what he promised you it doesn't matter the delay the doubt it doesn't matter god is gonna send his presence before you and they're gonna be in awe when you step on over from that front right step on over to that promised land dude they're gonna be like what yes i am here i arrived and i want my stuff jericho i want my stuff so god has to tell you and if you feel led to so into this word hashtag clear path they will be in all of you and won't be able to get enough of you it said the rest of their lives they was in awe of joshua they're gonna be in awe of you baby your husband gonna be in awe of you you watch sign up for that one-on-one encouragement call get your praying oilkeywinnesses.com we got some new active wear coming in so make sure that you're subscribed i love you family it's go time in jesus name talk to you soon